Hey Aquarius, and welcome to your November 2017 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead, and I am quite impressed and excited for some of the energies that I see coming forward for you guys, um, as it's so different from everyone else's. Um, you have a lot of cards that I haven't seen in a while in some of my readings, as I feel for some reason, I don't know why, but over the last three months I've just gotten a lot of like the same cards in my spreads. Um, Death has been here a lot, Six of Wands has been here a lot, um, I'm trying to see what else. Um, Ten of Pentacles has been around here and there, um, but the rest of the cards I haven't really seen in a while, so I'm excited to see that you guys have kind of come into a new place. You're kind of a dimension ahead of everyone else. You're kind of a, in just a different place than most people right now, which is as usual for, for Aquarius. I mean, you're always so different. You're always so eccentric. You're always so... Um, you know, disconnected from other people. So um, I think that that's kind of taking a new um, energy in your life or just coming to a whole nother level where you're sort of, it's more positive now, I feel. I actually feel really good about it. I feel like you are facing a lot of things in November, yes, but at the same time, you've like already gotten there and you've already sort of faced it and you're coming out the other side where everyone else is just sort of going into the uh, climax of it all. So um, definitely amazing to see you guys thriving in this way, although for some of you it is a bit more traumatic, but um, definitely kind of ahead of a lot of the other signs, which is interesting. As a lot of you know, Jupiter's in Scorpio now, which is really great for all the fixed signs. Um, for the Scorpios, Leos, Aquarius, and Taurus out there, uh, Jupiter and Scorpio is very powerful. So let's talk a little bit about Jupiter and Scorpio for you, Aquarius. Um, for Aquarius, Jupiter and Scorpio usually gives you a lot of ambition. It usually gives you a lot of aspiration to achieve something in life. There's usually a very specific period of time in the beginning of this type of transit where you have to really recharge, though. And I think that November may sort of serve that for you. Definitely, there has to be an emphasis on recharging. There has to be an emphasis on gaining back energy so that you can sort of step back into being really um, ambitious and goal-oriented. Um, you're definitely going to have to get back your confidence this month as there are quite a few energy Energies in this reading that deal with low confidence or deal with um, a sort of lack of self-esteem, which is kind of uncharacteristic for you. You're usually a very confident sign. Um, you're opposite from Leo and that, that axis deals with confidence and deals with um, pride as well. So um, Jupiter and Scorpio for you guys also deals with um, sort of changing the emotions and being there because Aquarius is more detached and disconnected. Not that y'all aren't emotional. You're very emotional, but you're not usually capitalizing on your emotions or you're not usually projecting them to the world in a way that you gain power or momentum through them. They're usually a very personal experience for you and a very, um, a solitude experience for you when you're emotional. So you will start to kind of voice your emotion, I feel, in different ways through this transit and also become more powerful and more motivated through the changes that you take in the way that you are an emotional being and the way that you're emotional around other people. Um, that will definitely, I feel, generate a lot of new experiences for you. And it's not a bad thing. I, I feel like a lot of Aquarius being like, ugh, when I say that, like, that sounds terrible. But And, and when I say emotional, I don't mean like... um like um, crying and being sort of an Ophelia or something. That's not what I mean. I mean like um, being like motivated by, I don't want to say ego, it's not ego, but it's like having an emotional connection with people. Because sometimes I feel, especially as Saturn has been in Sagittarius and it, ever since probably Saturn was in Scorpio actually, where you had that, that square in your chart as well, like Aquarius has been very like disconnected, very like I, want, I don't want to say cold, but cold, for lack of a better word, and sort of, um, you know, not really investing a lot of emotional energy in people. Um, now, not that you need to cry or not that you need to, like, um, I don't know, have some kind of, like, a heart-to-heart -heart with people. That I mean, you can if you want, but you just have to kind of come into a place where you're not scared of having the emotional connection with people now, because it really does empower you and generate a lot of new, really nice experiences for you from what I can tell. But um, if you guys want to see more information on the Jupiter and Scorpio stuff, you can check out the link in the, in the description box where I have written an article about all the signs in Jupiter and Scorpio that's on my Patreon page, so be sure to check that out when you have time. Anyway, moving on, um, you guys have four, five major arcana cards in your reading, Death, Temperance, The Hanged Man, Will of Fortune, and The Moon. I, d I never see The Moon lately, like it's never come up for me, so it's, I'm on one hand I'm excited to see it, but it's one of those archetypes that's kind of um, hard to deal with in its way to definitely dealing with like how you've held back, how you've constrained yourself, um, 
also delusional people, whether that be you or other people, I feel it might have been both a little bit, as everyone's usually been a little bit delusional at the end of Jupiter and Libra, and moving into Jupiter and Scorpio, it's just a delusional collect it's a collectively delusional period of time i want to say um so it's not about you aquarius but it's about everyone um so you definitely have to take time to disconnect from delusional people also you have to take time to understand reality and this could be specifically potent within you almost more so than anyone else because you do have the moon in your reading which deals specifically with um <clears throat> delusional people it deals specifically with I'm not seeing things the way that they are, and not that you guys can't do that, but I think that the lack of emotional connection or sort of that survival instinct that you had to have, and it's not that you guys were being selfish or not that you guys were doing that for fun, but you had to, over the last few years at some point in time, really disconnect emotionally from people, really put up the boundaries, really put up your walls in some way as a, a method of self-survival. And now that you have sort of come out of that in a new way, you have to sort of be able to have that investment. Otherwise, you can't really see things for the way that they are. And that's sort of um, never good because Aquarius is such a smart sign, like you're an air sign, you're Uranus ruled, you know, which is like really amazing intellectual ability. Um, but Uranus does tend to detach a little bit from the emotional. It does tend to operate in like a mathematical formulaic way, um, sort of robotic in, at some times. Um, so you're going to start now that Jupiter is in Scorpio, because when Jupiter was in Libra, that was fine, because Libra is also an air sign. It's kind of um, not so emotional either. You know, it's inanimate. So that really worked for you through Jupiter and Libra, but Jupiter and Scorpio is emotional based. It's gut based. It's, um, it's uh, based on the vibe of an environment. So in order to thrive in this kind of um, environment, Aquarius, you have to be able to do that. And you thrive in every environment. So, and the first step is going to be, from what I can tell by your energy right now, is to step past the illusions, to step past the falsities and see reality. After seeing reality, you can start to connect with people, you can start to connect with yourself, and before you know it, you're thriving in a new kind of energetic environment, which will be beautiful to see. Um, also a month, aside from some of those more abstract concepts where you can make a lot more money, you have that beautiful upright 10 of pentacles, um, which can be inheritance, it can be bonuses, it can be taking on uh, new clients and also starting new successful businesses. You might also be traveling, you have king of wands, and um, which is very spontaneous, it, it's supported to travel, it's supported to be spontaneous, it's supported to not stay put for too long, to really keep your energy turning over, keep those cells moving. Although I do feel that it's important to have healthy spontaneity as really big risks or big gambles may not be so good. Wheel of Fortune Reverse talks about not having the best luck in the world, although you are lucky. You just can't rely completely on luck. You do have to have some... Um, substance in what you do, which I'm not worried about with Aquarius because you guys don't really do things that impulsively. It's like spontaneity is good, but impulsivity is not so good. Find the middle ground between spontaneity and impulsivity. Um, lots of transformations. You guys have the death card here, um, King of Cups reversed, the hanged man. Uh, things are changing and you've got to get on the bandwagon with it. Like sometimes fixed signs, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus can struggle to change. They find one way of being that they like and it's hard for them to get out of that. Um, keep with the times, keep with the motion because you'll get upset if you stay one place too long, I feel. Overall, your health is coming back into order as well. Temperance is your central theme. You've got to stay hydrated. You've got to keep healthy. You've got to sleep well. Um, and you've got to um, have a bit of downtime as well, a bit of time away from any kind of really just overwhelming type of situation. So anyway, I want to get into the week to week and see more specifically what is coming forward for you all. Week number one, you have death rooted down by the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So you are... Um, transforming through your feeling of abundance or through your feeling of luck. Um, I feel like experiences with luck or sort of um, just very, I don't know, otherworldly experiences are happening to you because I do interpret the Wheel of Fortune as well as kind of um, just really emotionally activating experiences in your life because I'm not so much feeling like that has to do with money or with like gambling um, although it wouldn't be a terrible time for lottery as I feel like you can have a lot of transformations there but you just can't waste too much of your resources on anything right now because um, you can be overly consumed by that you can be consumed by uh, habitual actions relating to resources like spending money or paying things or paying for things um, I do feel like there's a big change in philosophy 
toward money. Um, some of you might be having a lot of changes in your echelon or your class or your status. I feel like that's something that happens to Aquarius during Jupiter and Scorpio, and it's good. I, it's a positive change. So usually whatever you um, associate with, like whether you want to be higher or lower, whatever that is. Um, although for some of you, it doesn't have so much to do with like um, economic class. It has more to do with um, spiritual class. And what do I mean by that? Because spirituality doesn't really have such a powerful hierarchy. But I think that a lot of you really want to um, up your game there or become more spiritually intuitive. So in that way, it's a really nice time to like book a vacation, book a um, retreat or uh, plan something for yourself where you give yourself that because now might not be the best time unless you've already done it um, or you've already set it up. Some of you may be doing the trip right now. Some of you might already be there which is fine, but it's definitely good to think about vacations or to think about retreats right now. Something that lets you travel, something that lets you be away from where you've been for like the last year, because I feel like where you've been for the last year has been very draining. Um, some of you could be moving, some of you could be thinking about that type of change, although I feel like that might be a little bit of a ways off as well. It just depends on like what else is in your chart, but um, definitely be thinking about how you want to get away from where you're currently at. In the second week, you guys have 10 of pentacles rooted down by six of wands reversed. Something about money here is also emphasized. Um, some of you may just not be feeling that confident about it, or there could be issues with inheritance or issues with um, even aside from money, like uh, getting what you deserve from people. Because I think our first thing that we think of is usually money when we think of compensation or when we think of, um, you know, uh, reaping our rewards of investments but i feel that a lot of you might have invested in people even if it was just emotional energy or even like trust like you're having some issues with trust or getting back what you've invested in someone um or not feeling confident that you will get back what you've invested in someone um definitely something to work with there is i think that um you guys definitely have to invest more in yourself you have to invest more in your own individuality in what you can accomplish with yourself because I feel like Aquarius has been very foundational lately I feel that a lot of people have been using it as a foundation a lot of people have been benefiting off of um, what you can give to them and then claiming it to be their own so I feel like maybe that sapped your confidence a little bit or that sapped um, your energy in the sense that you don't feel like there's equal exchange like where is your foundation Aquarius where is um, your structure, which you used to thrive off of, is I feel like you've just been that for other people. I think it will really help your confidence to use the foundation you've built to as, as a launch pad for yourself now instead of for, for other people, or even to some extent using someone else. And I don't mean using someone else like use them, like um, uh, collaborate, I almost want to say, collaborate with other people and um, establish some kind of teamwork or establish some kind of experience where you can thrive um, based on having some kind of common goal or some kind of common um, interest. I do feel like a worst case scenario for this month is there is sort of a little bit of a ideology, like the enemy of my enemy is my friend type of energy, where you're sort of working with people to get back at someone, or that could even be happening for you. Um, it, it's not such a good month for any kind of competition or any kind of um, competitive nature, and that, that might not be something very serious. Maybe you're just like... Um, I don't know, um, you're having some kind of friendly competition with people um, at work for all I know, but definitely working more with yourself, looking more inward versus trying to um, be out to get other people or even like allowing other people to be out to get you because there is some kind of like, um, I want to say symbiotic relationship with that. Usually if people are out to get you or you feel that people are out to get you, like you have like all these enemies or something, there's some kind of need to be seen or some kind of need to be... Um, um, accentuated by, uh, the, how do I want to say it? It's kind of hard to articulate. I want to say like a lack of acknowledgement for some of the amazing things that you've accomplished can lead your energy to be like, well, if I'm going to not be acknowledged at all, I can at least be acknowledged as the antagonist. Um, don't antagonize yourself this month. In the third week, you move into King of Wands, rooted down by King of Cups reversed. And I feel like this is a really important time to be the good guy or a really important time to be, um, operating at a higher energetic level because you do have new relationship possibilities here, um, especially like um, Aquarius who have really tapped into the passive side of their nature. Um, and what do I mean by that? Like Aquarius who are absorbing the lessons, absorbing um, new opportunities and not really like showcasing, not really thinking, okay, I want this, I'm going to shoot for it. And not that that's bad, but um, 
it's only negative if you've not had time to absorb the messages from the universe, the messages from life, and then thrusting forward. Like, uh, there, it seems to be like there's a lot of, um, you know, energy here and there all over the place. Uh, in that case, you're going to sort of feel more alone this month. But if you've been able to be passive, you've been able to absorb some more universal energy, you will start to attract in other people. I see lots of... Um, Fire energies coming in and water energies. So that would be your Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energies really working well with you. Um, especially the fire energies. The water energies seem to be a little bit more um, chaotic. So be careful of that. But it's it's good though. You do need to be around the water because um, it's been so fiery lately. And you are the water bearer after all. So you have a very empowered relationships with water signs. Water signs will come to you to fix their problems because you have such a intuitive understanding of emotional issues shoes so you might sort of be called upon or needed needed a lot in the third week by other people and it will be important to continue what you're doing um internally in the fourth week you have the hanged man rooted down by the moon and that's like wow like you you start november and you end november with only major arcana so um definitely really universal things coming in, in the beginning and the end of the month um you are in the worst case scenario, you're delusional about what is constraining you, what is holding you back. Um, on the other side of that, other people may not realize what's holding you back. Other people may be trying to tell you how to move forward with your life when they don't actually understand. Um, the hanged man is all about feeling restrained or feeling constrained in some way. Um, and the moon is all about, again, illusions and falsities generally. And uh, another interpretation of that could be as the hanged man tends to be other perspectives. Um, and the moon can also be the process of seeing through it. Like you you realize that you're being delusional or you realize that somebody else is being delusional. You realize that someone's not seeing things for the way that they are, um, even if you can't necessarily change that. So some of you could be getting new perspectives on um, people who've put you through bad situations. I feel like that's a positive of that type of energy. Like you'll start to um, realize, okay, that person was always going to do that and I can no longer really be a victim anymore by it. Even if I was victimized, like I at least have to realize that I saw it coming or at least have to realize and find some kind of responsibility in these energies. It's, it's definitely a good month to take responsibility where you can. And also, um, give responsibility to like it's good to acknowledge that people did bad things to you but you also have to acknowledge like what you were doing that drew that into your life like what you were doing how you were operating in a way that you needed that experience or you um had to have some kind of really strong jolting experience to sort of um bring you back to life or to make you realize or change your life path in a really positive way because maybe you were operating in a really lower way that uh, would not have really ever worked out so um definitely think about that think about new perspectives on difficult experiences because it's not that you have to spin really bad experiences in a positive way that's not so much it but you can't be so enveloped by it that's for sure with Jupiter and Scorpio because then it can become just about that it's either like it's either like spin things a little bit more positively or just lose opportunities you know you kind of have to weigh that up and that's kind of the serious nature I feel within Aquarius right now like definitely a need to not be overwhelmed or enveloped by difficult experiences with the past which is not really your territory in life but I just feel like Jupiter and Scorpio may have activated that for you especially for the Aquarius who are born at like the beginning of the cycle so like late January and early February Aquarius um, will be specifically more affected by that your central theme being temperance, it really feels like you can do what you need to do. And it's kind of hard for me to put my finger on it. It's kind of hard for me to see exactly what that is for Aquarius because, again, Jupiter and Scorpio is such an emotional experience and you guys are very emotional beings, yes, but not thriving off of that in the same way that other signs do. So it will be very interesting to see how you uh, work with this energy as I feel it's still somewhat kind of undecided. But um, focusing on your health, focusing on balance, focusing on temperance, on tempering your emotions, but at the same time acknowledging their presence and using them in a motivating way will be the best way to confront all of these issues that you may be going through. Anyway, I've so enjoyed giving this reading to you guys and I really hope that it resonated. To get some more specific things, maybe check out your sun, moon, rising sign. Um, and you can also book a private reading with me in the center of your screen here, or you can um, 
check out the Fallen Humanity video that I did, which is less about astrology but has some more general archetypes. Um, be sure to also check out the description box where you can see ad-free readings and some specific posts about Jupiter and Scorpio as well. Anyway, I will be seeing you guys in December. Much love. Bye.